Welcome everyone, the first way to save the battery in the S23 Ultra, so you get better battery life, is you're going to open up the settings, and I want you to scroll all the way down until we see the battery and device care. You are then going to tap on the battery, and if you scroll to the bottom here, there is this toggle that the newer Samsungs have, which is called More Battery Settings. And inside of here, we have a performance profile. And you can see it says standard and light. So standard is going to use the full chipset you know, for your day-to-day -day tasks. Light is going to reduce the speed of the chipset. It's not going to use as high performance cores inside of the processor. And so that will give you last year's flagship's performance. So you get the speed of the S22 Ultra instead of the S23 Ultra. It's not really noticeable, to be honest. But when you are doing high processing tasks, such as playing video games, it will use the full processor. So just, you know, going on Twitter, that doesn't require a lot of processing power. And so the light is good for that. Same with general navigation. And that will also help improve your battery life and on top of this if we go back again in the battery page we do have the power saving mode this is a little bit extreme because this will if we just tap into it you can see it's going to turn off your always on display limit the cpu speeds even further decrease the brightness turn off 5g and if you look at this Excluding the limit CPU speed, you could turn off these features manually, you could lower the brightness manually, but if you just want a toggle, you're low on battery, you can just turn that one on, and that's also going to help save the battery life as well. If we go back to the home page of settings, and we just search for scanning, and you're going to see here, Bluetooth scanning, Wi-Fi scanning, and if you go into here, you want to turn these ones off. So even when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is off, if you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning, it's still going to scan for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth networks, even when the toggle is off. And so this doesn't serve any purpose other than to drain your battery life. And also that data is sent to Google because what Google can do is they have a database of all of the Wi-Fi networks and the exact location. So if you have Wi-Fi scanning on, you can scan for those networks in Google's database, and that's how you get that really good location services. But GPS works as well, just, just as well. And this just helps Google collect data. So I would personally turn these off. On top of this, I will check your individual app settings. So what we're going to do... So we're going to find where it says the apps. And so to get into there, we're going to go to apps. And each individual application may use things in the background that you don't need it to use. So let's investigate. Let's go to this app here. And I don't have any permissions for this. Let's use an app I actually use. Because there will be permissions that I may want to turn off. So let's say we go to Twitter here and we look at the permissions. And so what we're looking for is location and location even if we're not in the background. So permissions, these look okay. I've turned it personally off location. And you're going to notice it says here, allow while using the app. So if you have location services while using the app, if you don't really need that, so Twitter, don't really need that, I would recommend you turn it off because when it's fetching location services, that will drain your battery. But there are some apps which will always use location, even if you're not in the app. And so let's see if I can find one right here. Give me a second. So the Google app here, this is a good one because you can see location allowed all of the time. So... What this means right now is even though I'm not using Google, it is 
using my location in the background and it doesn't matter if the Google app is opened or not because it's still going to use your location. And so what I would recommend is you go boom and you refuse access to that. Uh, if you actually are using location inside of that app, then just set allow while using the app. And you also see here, use precise location. So if you need the precise location inside of an app, turn that on, but that will drain more battery. If you turn that off, it will just tell the app the city you're from or the town you're from, instead of saying the exact precise you know, address. And so that would be useful for the battery saving as well. But only turn this one off if you need location services, but you don't need your exact location to be shared, which I don't know if you would need that, but that's up to you. And so that's just something to do. These other permissions here, if you look into them, uh, you know, you may not want these permissions either, but these other permissions won't really save your battery anywhere near as the location, because the location will drain a lot. And that's just a couple of things you can do. And when you do these, you will see a battery life improvement. And so with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.